Roll it. Yep. Hey everyone! We're going to be making a simple smoothie today. This is a smoothie I would make in the morning when I first wake up after I drink a nice relaxing tonic of lemon and warm water to wake up my belly. I would make this after that or I would make this after a good workout because not only is this smoothie high in healthy fat, it's also high in protein. It also has some healthy sugars with the fruit we're going to be including. So the ingredients today are chopped up pecans, flaxseed, chia seed, raspberries, a plum, ginger, cinnamon, and some almond milk. Now some recommendations I have if you're going to make this at home is to use whatever kind of milk suits your diet. I like using almond milk because I like a diet low in dairy and whatever kind of fruit you would like also. An additional tip I want to give is that women who are on their menstruation cycle, it's a really good idea to eat flaxseed when there's blood coming out of you. And when there's not blood coming out of you, it's a really good idea to eat sunflower seeds. Flaxseed when you're on your period and sunflower seed when you're not on your period in daily doses help balance out your hormones. I'm on my period today so I'm going to be making my smoothie with flaxseed. So we're going to put this all in a blender but first I am going to soak my raspberries. The reason is these are not organic raspberries and so there's pesticides on them. If we soak our non-organic berries for about five minutes and then give them a good rinse, we get rid of most of the pesticides and that'll be healthier for our body. I'm just gonna let those soak for about five minutes. So next I'm gonna get out my blender now that we have our raspberries soaking, I'm just going to add some other ingredients into the blender cup. I'm going to start with my almond milk. Honestly, I like to use however much I feel is right for my body, and that honestly goes off of intuition. Make sure you don't use too much though. And if you're under the age of 15, I highly recommend asking an adult for help with this recipe. And I would never hesitate using water instead of almond milk if I was out of almond milk. And really just have fun with it. Go with whatever ingredient you want to add next. I'm going to go with ginger. And just a little bit of ginger. It's very potent, so I don't need a lot. I'm going to add my cinnamon last. Next I'm going to go with the pecans. Flaxseed after that. I'm going to go with the chia seed next. And like I said, I'm going to hold off on the, on the sunflower seeds today. Next, I'm going to cut my plum in half because I really don't think I need a whole plum this morning. I'm trying to watch my sugar intake and I just don't think I need a whole plum today. I'm going to do it over the sink. If you're under the age of 15, I highly recommend getting an adult to help you with this. Plums have pits in them. So I would never put a whole plum into my blender. I would always chop it up first. There's the plum cut in half. There's the pit. So I'm going to put this side that doesn't have the pit into my blender cup. We'll leave that for later. Actually, since these have been soaking for a couple minutes now and raspberries are very absorptive, I'm actually going to rinse them now. So I'm sure that just soaking them for those couple minutes got a lot of the pesticides off, but we're going to rinse them a little bit more. I'm so grateful for water helping us cleanse our fruit and vegetables and helping our bodies be healthier. 
Water is such a good, good antidote for so many things. So I'm going to take my plum and my raspberries and I'm going to put them into my blender cup. Most blenders do better when um, the stuff you're putting in them is a little bit smaller. So being careful with my knife and cutting away from myself, I'm just going to chop that in half one more time. And you might want to cut your plum in half again. Other, uh, if you're using blenders that aren't um, as powerful as the one that I'm going to be using today. So there's everything, blend or everything in the blender cup. And my last ingredient is cinnamon, which I'm just going to give a couple taps. It's all in there, powdered up cinnamon. I'm just going to give a couple taps. And there it is before it's blended. Now we're going to blend it. So there it is, all in the blender. We're going to go ahead over. I'm going to plug the blender in, making sure my hands are dry first so I don't get electrocuted. So I'm just going to blend this now. It's going to be pretty loud. I'm going to turn it on. It's all blended. Isn't that such a beautiful kind of pinkish color? And you can see all of the nut particles in there. It's going to be so tasty. I'm going to just unplug that. <laughs> and I'm going to open over the sink so that my blender remnants don't go all over the counter. I'm just going to set that in there. Now, this is a blender cup, but for most traditional blenders, you're not going to drink right out of your blender. So I'm just going to pour this into a regular cup. That's about one serving. I can save that little bit for later, or I can drink it when I'm done with all that I have in this cup. I'm going to try it. I'll let you know what it tastes like. <laughs> Honestly, I really love to say thank you to my food before I eat it. Even though this is a smoothie and I'm going to drink it, I'm going to say thanks. I think a little later in other videos you'll get a taste of a, a good blessing over the food, but I said thanks to this and now I'm going to drink it. Mmm. I can really taste the cinnamon and the nuts. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Um, can I film me drinking some of it? Okay, I'll oh, have a little sip. Sorry, My cameraman Tyler's going to drink some. Sorry, sorry if I have cooties. It t really tastes like cinnamon and nuts. Yeah, it's actually really good. I can taste the ginger too. One thing I want to add to you about this smoothie is that I added raspberries because I'm on my period also, and raspberries are also really good for menstruating women to enjoy when they're on their period. <laughs>